we're back in Tamarina in Doringa, Mexico with Yuto. Here we have a, the completed nuclear fission facility for the Verdana Expeditionary Mining Division for that is part of Mexico here in Verdant Jungle with the beautiful sunrise in the distance behind the arcology I believe. So let me go over the few changes that I made here, um, like the final changes for this city here. Yeah, as we can see, you know, we have this interchange here. That's not really a change, um, but I kind of like revised this area a little bit. I mean, it's pretty much the same. It's just I added a uh, coal power plant because I kind of like thought like this clean coal generator kind of looks like something that would be pumping out of the this retention pond over here, and I added like a few more outflow pipes and stuff. Um, I don't think I really have to worry about the water table because like in this because I think we have to like you know make another city to create more pollution and stuff to have these um, sewage treatment centers to put more water back into the table. Also that I've uh, uh, someone had a suggestion that they put coal lots in here to make it look more like a um, you know where you could put your uh, we could well we can role play that this is uranium or something like that for the nuclear power plant or some kind of radioactive material resource and this is kind of what it is I have the the train terminals two train terminals actually with the train tracks here the coal lots and I've minimized the landfill here and things are starting to get more black here on the ground so now it, now it's starting to look um, more industrial like. Um, also, another person just to, to put a a passenger train station. I've thought about it, but I thought like you know, there's not much space left. But um, I mean, we could put come back in here later on um, when we come back to check on the water table if if uh, pollution from other cities are are generating enough to you know just put it back in, and we have some pollution here again. And I'm not really going to clean it up because it's a Mexico. I mean, they're not going to spend the extra money to clean up. I mean, well, we're, we're, we're just pretending like you know they're they're you know pretty much selfish and uh, just all about profit here, and they don't. I mean, high opportunity cost to just clean it up, as you could say. So this is Tom Marina with the nuclear power plant, modern educational level. That's not good. We have another. Yeah, this is based off of. Uh, Arcology people, I don't know what the heck's happening. This is what I had before, but let's just get out of the city here and start a new city or a new district or whatever. And I'm I plan to make this a mining city, Jaguar Ridge, and we're going to have this Anaconda Bay, a port city, and this will kind of be like um, some kind of um, commercial with all this industry that's being generated from these two or three plots. And the, you know, the freight has to go somewhere, so I'm planning to put some commercial here and stuff. But let's jump over here to Jaguar Ridge and get started on this mining city. Okay, we're here in Jaguar Ridge. Let's see where the resources are. We got the coal down there the ore up here and the oil down there okay so this will be coal I mean ore yeah that's exactly what I needed or just something up here at least okay so what I want to make this plot unique um, you know for a a mining city I wanted to do something a little different from what people would normally do where you know or the you know how you would play the normal game is just you know just pave a road and put a ore mine here. I want to make it a little bit more realistic as what this series is all about, you know, trying to make something realistic. And I want to make a quarry. I want to dig a quarry here, see if I could make it. Um, let's, let's use, that was my Facebook. Okay, let's use this low density road right here because we can dip it down lower than the regular dirt road. And I'm going to try to do like just keep on doing this over and over see if I can like descend this down I want to make it really deep if I could maybe need to make it more closer
you know, I've been, um, I mean, I'm sure you guys noticed, but, like, in my past two videos, or four videos, I've been, I didn't sound that very, uh, enthusiastic or interesting. I found it kind of, you know, very boring, as you could say. I always sound like that, but, I mean, this past week, I've been, I don't know what happened, but I believe that I've developed an allergy. I never had allergies before, so I wouldn't know. And it's just been hell for me, like, my eyes been are, like, just so itchy and dry. I've been sneezing constantly, and it's just, like, I don't know how you people with allergies do it. I mean, I mean, respect to you guys, but, like, holy crap, it's hell. So I've been taking some allergy medication and stuff to really, like, I just cannot stand it. It's just... I feel like I'm gonna like it's just drives you insane you know and it's spring so you know allergy season I think four rows is deep enough yeah not get too deep okay now we're gonna do the same over here let's see how well if I could This may be an issue. Whoops. I actually pressed the wrong key. And also, like, I had another midterm this week. I mean, it's after spring break now, and I have midterms again. And, uh, yeah, I pretty much finished those up, and now I'm just back at home to just, you know, trying to relax. But I still have a lot of work to do. I have, like, a lot of projects. Um, accounting projects. Accounting is just. I don't know. The only thing accounting class has class has taught me that is that I cannot be an accountant. Like <laughs> it is very challenging or very difficult. There's just so much information you have to keep track of with all these numbers. My meds from that I just took was a uh, apologies for this. Yay! I saw this a while ago. About two episodes ago. Good to have some fireworks. Okay. That was my Facebook again. No, we want to make this... Oh, this is the same level. Okay, let me delete this again. We're going to have to do this again. Um, it's kind of annoying to do. I want to, like, really push this down there. Um to make like, you know, like steps, terraces, I guess. I think that's a term. Wait, I think this side would be better to see. Oops. Hmm. I think that's good. Whoops. Yeah, it's at least lower than the other road. Not by much, though, but it works. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with this road. And I got to, like, remind myself to buy the power and stuff from the other city. I don't know if that's the same level. Oh, okay. That's good. It's lower. Okay, uh, hopefully this is lower. Yep, that's lower. Alright, so now we got these steps. Oh, we got a tunnel here. Let me fix that up. Okay, this is going to take a while. Hate this process where you just have to keep on doing this over and over again to make a tunnel because the road will creep up when you delete the tunnel just by a little bit. So, a very systematic process. Just build, delete, build, delete. I mean, using um, X Oxide's mod, um, the, which is Tunnel and Bridge mod, 
where you can like make deeper tunnels and uh, higher bridges. So doing this with like regular SimCity, I don't think it's really. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think it's like a good idea. I mean, it's going to be very difficult. Um, so it'll probably drive you insane trying to push these roads down and down. It's very frustrating. I mean, they're already frustrating enough, kind of. At least you don't have to do manual terraform, right? The old days. Okay, that does not work. That's not good. Well, let's just link up these. We delete these tunnels. Let's just link up the outer. I'll just delete all those in general. Okay, delete. Try to link these up. Make the make it curved. Let me link this up too. Two. And then I'm gonna change these back to dirt roads. That way it'll oh shoot. Whoops. Should never done that. Yeah, I'm gonna change these back to dirt roads so that way we have this more natural look for the quarry with dirt roads. And this is not good. Uh, just as you know, for like this story, my interpretation of Omega and this series, this is not the actual capital of Omega Co. This is more like you know, as I said um, in a few posts, that this is the Redonda Expeditionary Mining Division of Omega Co. So they're kind of like just exploring the resources here in the Verdant Jungle. So eventually, we'll get to the the headquarters or the capital of Verdana. And maybe eventually we'll get to see the real capital of Omega Co. And that should be really exciting because uh, I gotta think about this for a while. Like, how I'm gonna make something so cool and majestic for Omega Co. This global empire. You know, I mean, looking at the mega towers, the 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 low wealth mega towers. I guess you could say they're for Omega Co. But you know, it kind of reminds me of like a lot of like Dread. Um, I think that's like, yeah, the latest sci-fi film um, that kind of uses this kind of atmosphere for uh, mega towers. God dang, this is so annoying. And that's what it kind of reminds me of, like, just how those mega towers are with the uh, dredges. Dredge is kind of like a um, like a, a like there's a lot of crime in the future and stuff like that. So we have like this officer here. I, I think that's what the story is about. I'm not sure. I haven't even watched it. I just looked at the trailer uh, when I saw it come out. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Okay, that's not gonna work. Now we gotta do this again. This core is gonna take a while. Maybe I should just time lapse it, you know, so that way you don't have to spend a whole episode watching me do it. Or maybe you guys like watching me um, lower these roads down. I mean, I'll see. But then all the conversation is gone, you know. <laughs> it's not really I'm talking. It's like, I'm not talking anything important, exactly. But at least I get to, like, speak my ideas while I build. Well, that's pretty difficult, though, like, multitasking and building. This side. This is gonna take a bit. Like I thought of this concept because like I was playing Banish and also been looking at like some documentaries just on 
History Channel or National Geographic, and I'm just like, like, well, like, have you ever guys seen the documentary Modern Marvels? And like, they do some documentaries, like really cool documentaries on like technology and stuff. And they did like an episode. Well, I mean, it's a rerun. So, like, I already saw it before, but to see it again, like, gave me some ideas. Like, they did an episode on, uh, I think it was, uh, hydraulics. Yeah, they showed, like, those big dump trucks that had, like, those big yellow trucks that, you know, when kids that play with, as them with toys, that carries a bunch of dirt and just dumps it everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, they're, they normally use those in, like, giant coal mines or quarries and stuff, so I was like, you know... Maybe I can make something like that in SimCity. You know, it'll look really cool. Okay, this one's kind of not as... Not the type of corner that I want, but... It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a dirt road system. Okay, now we're going to... This is the difficult part. I mean... Dang, I should have probably did it the other way. Because... if this will do anything. Slowly creeping up the roads. You can like make an invisible road that way, <laughs> just by fiddling around with the up and down motion of the the M and N key. Try to get the elevation and stuff. And this is kind of a sharp corner, and we can't really do anything about this type of stuff. I mean, we could probably put like a park to straighten this out, but it'll just look kind of funky, I guess. I mean, I guess you could have a bench there. <laughs> I mean, while you're working on the job. Kind of like a barbecue pit there. Okay, so now we got that going. And let's get this side going. If I could get this side going. Huh. <laughs> There we go. Just need to lower these roads down. We'll worry about those corners, or not corners, but turns later. What the heck is... Oh, the park. I was like, what? What's dropping my budget down? Or... I have an expense already, like negative ten, and I forgot I threw down that park. Okay, so this looks relatively flat. Now I just need to smoothen out these curves. There we go. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, there we go. That's much better. It's raining here in verdant jungle. That's annoying. It's such a tedious process of terraforming. But I, I kinda like it though, it's like it's a lot of, it's it's different, you know. I'm trying to improvise and stuff without the tools. But of course, you know, having tools will save a lot more time and stuff like that. But Alright, now we got... Alright, I think I'm going to time-lapse this part because this is taking forever, so just sit back and relax and just watch me build again. Alright, here we go.
Okay, so this is the quarry. I finished it, kind of. Uh, we still have to do some things here and a lot of fine tuning here, but I, I just want to see how it looks with the load, you know, the dirt roads and stuff. So here we go. Okay, now we have like this. Looks like a track field, doesn't it? <laughs> but we got some of these areas here that are just somehow segments. Whoa, what the heck? Small viral outbreak and there's like nothing here. <laughs> it's like, where do I even check for that stuff? Like, what? My city's not even connected. That's the thing. Alright, so this is going to be a kind of a, a weird task. Because, you know, we're going to have to like flatten out this whole ground. And this is really weird too. I mean, look at that. <laughs> um, we can probably put like more barbecue pits to really flatten this out. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is kind of... I mean, that'll work for now, I suppose. Let's see if we can put any on this side. Yes, we can. It's just... It's just crappy that this has to be like this way. Alright, now we're going to try to find a way to flatten out this whole thing here. Where's the ore? Does this do coal too? Or, I mean, ore? No, I don't think so. I mean, even though it says advanced coal mine, maybe it's so advanced that it does ore and it just doesn't say. I never played around with that because I never bothered researching it at the university. Um, so let's have it right here. We can have this thing right here. And I guess we could have the like, augmented um, ore shaft. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. I think I'm just wrapping around this thing. Um, but that might be a little claustrophobic and it looks kind of weird. So maybe like stretch it out. But uh, actually let's see if I could See if I could stretch it out. Or well, I think this is just gonna have to be like that. Anyways. Okay now now let's just use this last one. Actually how did I do that? I wanna kinda like because this is one's already on the side, this one's already on the side, you know, why not put another one on this side? So Let's do that. Right. Now this. It's the future, so that's why we have these augmented mine shafts, and that does not fit. A shame. I want to put these parks here to flatten the ground. We may have to put like a whole bunch of. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I. Someone suggested the natural park mod, and I just completely forgot about it. I can put a park mod here. Yeah, I should, I should have downloaded that. Maybe next episode you'll see me with it. I mean, it looks really good. Like, it moves that ugly astroturf. Maybe we'll put like a barbecue hut here or something on top of a road. What? We'll try on this side. And again, that was my Facebook. Alright, so this is pretty much how it, well, let me finish these up. I think I'm gonna have to do like a whole bunch of bar barbecue pits to really straighten this out. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Man, I want some ribs too. The way that guy sounds like it. Makes it sound. 
now we just have like a lot of these weird jagged uh, spires or something. I mean, that'll have to do. But and this looks kind of weird for a uh, ore mine. I mean, <laughs> you have a lot of these tall. Oh, I forgot to do this side. But yeah, I have a lot of these tall. Just maybe I should like um, reduce the number of these because these look kind of ridiculous. Maybe we'll like space them out like um, what we did with the water treatment plant to make like those oil drums or whatever. So let's do that. Um, actually, it might make the ground rise. Yeah. Okay. The tr Jeez. The troubles of SimCity. Okay, let me see. I think we're gonna have to delete this. God damn, I'm like so popular this evening. Like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was my Facebook again. But okay, I really gotta like destroy this. I should have thought about that. Okay, we got that. Got this. Got this down and this. Can I even put no? See what else. Alright, so now it's all flat again and we have this quarry. This is a pretty intense quarry, I guess you could say. Because I mean there's like a lot of buildings here. Okay, now what the next step is that we're gonna have to link up these um, roads and that could be a problem because I don't know where to start. I mean we could cut this off. Yeah, we can cut this off. Link this road up with that one. Link this one. Kind of go back to the surface again. If I could make it like a very gentle slope. Okay, we're going to have to use this road again to burrow through. Okay, come on. That'll do for now. Straighten out those curves. All right. Okay, there we go. So now we have that. Now we have to like go around and maybe this side will be the side where like they kind of link link up it's just a spiraling I have to use a, the regular street road again to create a tunnel to terraform this This is a pain. I mean, should have done this earlier. Maybe if I start from this side, I'll because it's like making a road. I mean, a tunnel instantly is not making a segment of a regular street road. So it makes it. Why is it doing that? Maybe if I make this a street. I don't know which side is at fault here. So annoying. Alright, let's see. There it goes again. <laughs> okay, so I think this is...
pretty good. I mean, I want to. Of course, then I'm gonna. I want to flat it out more. But I'm probably gonna do that offline, so that way you don't have to watch all my OCD. Oh my god! Here we. What the heck is with the curve tool? The curve tool is awesome in its own way, but man, it's it's a really annoying tool. I mean, look at this. I think I have to use a straight tool for this one. How does it not? How? <laughs> Rogue Ray 2 Street, like steep. Okay. It makes a lot of sense. But I think it's that road. Finally. Okay, now we're gonna. I think this is gonna be the dead end here. And then make this. Make this a low density road. Make this a low density road as well. Or street, I meant. And I think we'll delete that. I think that park is in the way. So I'm gonna have to delete that park. Let's get this working. I should really close my browser next time so it uh, doesn't have all these notifications popping up that, you know, could fool you. I mean, every time you hear that sound, you kind of like automatically look at your text or whatever. It's Facebook. Come on. Alright, there we go. Now we have a quarry. Oh, yep, we need to finish this too. Yeah, it's really annoying to flatten this stuff out. I mean. those roads up. Okay, so now we I think we've kind of flattened this whole thing out. Maybe put some more barbecue pits. And that looks nice. It's just that I need to fine tune it like offline so that way you don't have to like watch this boring process of a quarry. But that looks nice. Like I said, it looks kind of like a racetrack, you know. Now I just want to make this black because this green texture, uh, like you know, the verdant jungle thing, is just does not work with this. So I don't want to use outflow pipes because that's the job of the next city, or you know, what we just built in Tamarina. So I'm, I think I'm just going to have to rely on these to make pollution themselves here. So let's get the workers started by building a road, and I'm. I'm trying to find out what kind of a, like highway system would we need here. I mean, we could probably just get off immediately off the highway and just go straight to a dirt road. But I also want to make this like organic. Maybe I'll make it like kind of like a meandering um, slope or road. Because I don't want to. I don't want to just like make it go straight down. I mean, I mean that's logical, but. Imagine driving down that in real life, I mean, with like a whole bunch of trucks. I mean, this will at least like slow you down on you know, meandering road here. Or maybe we could do it somewhere else, like, can this even, maybe we can make like a ravine or a chasm. I don't even know if I'm using the terms right. A canyon? Chasm? Ravine? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a forge? A gorge? 
Now I'm just playing like Scrabble here. I don't know. Word games. All right. I think I'm gonna have to use like this process here of dirt roads. I mean, not dirt roads, but street roads. It's amazing what asphalt streets can do. They can carve to the earth. Better than ants. I can like burrow inside your house. Okay, that looks nice. Maybe I want to make this um, meander all this way. Thing is like nighttime, so I cannot really see like the 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 3D characteristics of the dirt because it's so dark. I mean, I could just turn up the brightness of my screen, but I don't want to. Too much labor. All right, so yeah, I think I'm good now with my allergies. I mean, I just took some allergy meds, but I, I mean, I'm really hoping that it, maybe it's not allergies. Maybe it's like a sinus infection or some other thing but man that this week has been hell like props to you guys that have been living with allergies earlier than I have man I've always been curious though like you know I always talk to my some of my friends and they're like oh sorry I'm, I have allergies right now or like stuff like that and I'm like oh okay I'm just like oh okay because I don't know what they're really like what it feels like for them to go through but dang like for me to go through it now I have like respect for their endurance that they've obtained the allergy earlier than I did. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to fill up space. Uh, let's see, we can just fill this up for now. I mean, connect this for now to get this stuff rolling in. stuff. Hey, wake up. This is my team speak. This is a Friday evening right now and I'm supposed to play with my friends but they're they're busy or away for a little bit so I decided to record an episode. But I have been wanting to do this for a while anyways once I was done with my exams. But here we go, a quarry in Jaguar Ridge. Let's see what it looks like from, you know, whoops, region view. I mean, that looks nice. Look at that. We have a nuclear facility over here. And you don't really, yeah, you can't see the terraforming effect from this angle. That sucks. Or like from region view. That looks good. Okay, so... This is when is the water going to start taking effect here? It's going to have to like pump it all the way through. We could probably have another. We could probably have a water tower here just to assist it out. And I don't need all these parks. I mean, we we could just for the workers to be calm or whatever. But, oh yeah, look at that. Giant drilling symbol of Omega right here. Just pollution everywhere. In a quarry. It's not the best looking quarry. Um, but it works. And it looks pretty cool. It's like a track field. And it goes down lower and lower like steeps steps. Now well, let's see what I'm going to find out, or, well this is pretty bad here. 
I don't know what to do exactly with this coastline since this is going to be a mining city and we have our oil here and coal kind of like in the same spot so maybe um, let me see maybe we can do like another oil field here like a, like those silos but the like we'll just turn these things off here the water pumping stations um, let me see let's make a road on side the cliff first I don't think I'm gonna have any interchanges in this city I mean it's not really I don't really see it plausible for this like for this type of setup here okay this is stupid I want to get it like right slope there we go that looks good Is that good too? Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, now we got a lot of traffic going around here. Oh yeah, I forgot we gotta get rid of this coal. Let's make some metal, shall we? Well, actually, no, this is a mega. We could start pumping that oil now. Um, yeah. Let me see. Need to know where that oil is, so I want to like pave a road, kind of like on the gray line. Okay, it's kind of getting bumpy here. Alright, so that's the oil, and let's mark the coal. So the coal is like this area and this area as well. Whoops. So we just really got like this much space to play with, uh, with oil. But the thing is, like, I don't know if I want to like make it like, like this or. Um, make it more grid-like. I mean, we could probably. I think we're gonna have to like work from the shore and on in because I want to know. I want to see what I can do with this shoreline. I mean, we could put some ports here. Maybe we can make a regional, make another channel or something. Um, let me see. Yeah, let's let's do something with a channel or the regional freeway thing. To is there even a freeway over on this side? There is. Wait, I want to see if... I'm just curious. I want to see how far this thing goes. Can I even build a road? All the way over there. It's crazy. Oh, oh that's crazy. <laughs> Why is it overlapping? What the heck is it overlapping? I think it just cannot go up that hill now. It's just too far. But that's pretty cool. Look at that. It actually touches the thing over there. But yeah, the things in the region have different properties from... Whoa, losing a lot of money here. But yeah, they have like different properties than what we have in this city. So it's like, you know, different. Um, that's why building outside the border is not really absolute because it doesn't work that way what does this look like oh it's just a <laughs> it looks like a dam I guess you could put you can make a dam here now that doesn't really make sense let me in the I don't think you can even make a dam in this type of setting in like real life Okay, let's see. I want to make a channel, but I don't know where exactly. 
I'm probably just wasting space, but I like wasting space. Maybe this will do good. Actually, I want to see if I could do something like this. Sucks that I cannot make this straight, like... Because it doesn't work, like, straight. Okay, that's... I'm gonna have to make this longer here. Because I don't want to show the... I think I'm gonna like sneeze again, like, come on. The allergies are crazy. So that looks all right. Yeah, this tool's um, it works for what it does, has its own limitations. But yeah, I want to make this wider. That kind of has some weird. Let's see if I can make it. No, I don't think so. Dang it. But yeah, I'm gonna try to make this deeper. Or wider, I meant. Now the final, the mouth of this whole thing. Actually, I may need to make another because of, dang, yeah. It's just how it is. Maybe do it this way. Bones overlap, of course. I'll just trim these out. I think. No, that's not gonna work. I don't know what this is like. This is exactly. I mean, I guess this will be kind of like some. I mean, I can't really make a port here because the road is in the way, but it'll just be some kind of channel. I mean, industrial sectors always have, like, channels in them or something going on. Um, let me see if I complete that and then straighten this thing out here. 
Yeah, I'll delete that too. Alright. I think that looks fairly decent. But again, I might. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Jeez, this is so much. Because I just didn't like. Like, I could see it, you know, from it in the water. It just doesn't look right. And I can see that one too. But it's okay. Now we have, like, some kind of looking thing and we could cover it up with uh, the concrete walls of the streets. Whoops. Maybe if I could do it with... just a straight road? And I think uh, from, like, from this once I'm finished with this, I think I'm gonna call it episode, you guys. Let's see what else. I'm gonna like brainstorm over like what else could I do to make this like a convincing mining city with like storage lots for all the coal or oil and etc. like that. And I just now remember that this is where my oil is, so that kinda sucks. <laughs> uh where is my oil? Okay, that's my oil, and we have coal there. I mean, we still got some areas of coverage there, but yeah, I just now remember, so that kind of sucks. Okay, that looks nice. We got like a concrete wall here, except on this side though, this is, it's not absolute. Let's see if we can make it more noticeable here. And there we go. We have like some kind of port. Um, let me see if I could add breakwaters. Um, make this look more convincing. Add, whoops. I'm supposed to elevate that. You know, that's not that deep actually. Even though these kind of look like roads, I mean, it, it, I'm just kind of like role playing. Like these look like breakwaters here. Um, this would have been a nice spot for a nuclear facility too. You know, I mean, you can put a nuclear power plant anywhere we want. But here we go. We got the quarry and some kind of port thing that I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet with breakwaters. And we're going to have some meandering roads, dirt roads here, crisscrossing through the mountains of the verdant jungle here, and we're going to try to figure out what to do with these train tracks. But yeah, thank you for joining again in Doring Omega Co., and I'll see you guys next time in Verdana. Peace out.